All right, dude, what's your question? Why can't you crush? Why can't you crush up pills and snort them? Yep. Okay. So, all right. So, complex question. Most drugs that you take. So we're talking about Motrin. Cause that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Motrin. Okay. Yep. So, Motrin is um, designed to be placed in your stomach. So they do stuff like putting um, glue to hold it together that's biodegradable. So basically you can dissolve it. So it dissolves in your stomach and then it falls apart. They put um, additives in it so it doesn't taste that bad. You know, because if it tastes like Dookie, you don't want to take it. Your medicine Versus it, taste bad. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like Skittles. You could make your medicine taste like Skittles, but everybody would take more than they should because they think it's candy. So you got to make it taste okay enough. How you make it taste like Skittles? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> so, so you could make your medicine taste like M&M's or whatever. So they put stuff to make it taste right, okay. stuff to change the color of it because they want it to be a certain color. Wow. Because some pills are some colors, some pills are other colors. I guess um, easier so like people can see good. Correct. You want them to be different shapes, different sizes, so different glues. Some of them have microscopic holes drilled in them so that they dissolve at a certain rate in your stomach because if they need acid in your stomach to dissolve and break down, it needs to go away quick like a gel capsule versus if it needs to dissolve over time, they may make it a layered thing. So it just layer by layer versus dispersing at one time. So it's all these additives that go into the medicines when it goes into your GI tract because it knows it, they know you're not going to be able to dissolve it versus in your lung, it's a direct window to an artery and a vein. So it goes directly to your bloodstream. So if you put something in somebody's lung or they inhale it, like we do with gas when we're doing anesthesia, mm -hmm. it goes directly. You get an effect, not immediately because it has to circulate around the blood, but it goes in pretty quickly. Okay. So but if you put glue in your lung, correct. If you put can't have glue in your lung. If you put an additive like um, a food coloring in your lung, it's gonna, it's gonna mess your lung up. So that's why you can't crush pills up and snort them. Um, so when they talk about like, people talk about cocaine being pure and being stepped on and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. that's what they're talking about. Because if you add additives like talcum powder, baby powder, saccharin, whatever, to make it look like it's more than it is, and when you snort it, it messes up your lungs. It up your lungs. So you can't crush up pills and snort them. If you crush up pills and then swallow them all of a sudden, you mess up the way that they were designed, so you may get a big dose of medicine at one time as opposed to it being spread out over 12 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours. Does cocaine by itself mess up your lungs? Or? You can get a burn, yeah. But again, it's based on what's in it as well. Because we use pure cocaine for um, for some procedures because it causes vasospasm. So like sometimes people with bloody nose, they'll take like medical grade cocaine and put it on a, like a tampon or something, stick it in their nose and they'll stop their nose from bleeding. Medical grade cocaine do the same thing as like regular. It cocaine. does. So like, if there was a doctor and he wanted to get that is a problem. Oh. That is a problem. How many years you got to train to be a doctor to do that? You don't want to. Uh, I mean, saying any doctor can write for it. So you talking like maybe they not giving out keys of cocaine at CVS. Like okay, but you have to order it through a special pharmacy, and it's usually it's a super controlled substance. So now, hypothetically, okay. if that doctor was to redistribute that substance okay. and put it out on the street, if people sell it, he'd go to jail because they know how much it's being sold. Mm -hmm. I can't order a pound of cocaine from the, from, uh, the manufacturer and they not call me and tell me what you need a pound of cocaine for. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, let's say you need, what, do you know the formula to make it? From a chemical standpoint? Yeah. Yes. Because I was a chemistry major, we went over it in college. Okay, now from a doctor, would a doctor know how to make medical grade cocaine? 
It's having a lab to be able to do it and getting the products to be able to do it. I'm at the court. Goodbye. Can't educate kids. Hypothetical standpoint. Completely hypothetical. Thank you.